When the wall was coming, there was a lot of pushback. City leaders were speaking out against it, but they were like powerless to it. The federal government holds these communities, you know, with a tight grip because we're so reliant on federal funds. So being defiant, speaking up, all that stuff jeopardizes infrastructure and community development. We're in Southmo. This is the southernmost tip of Brownsville, Texas, which is the southernmost tip of Texas. You can see uh, this is the Bush era border fence, which is steel bollards that they're planning on installing in other places. It's also my childhood home. It was our safe space. Now, like you think back to that kind of tranquility and then you juxtapose it against something like this wall. My grandmother's garden, like if you were to see it now than the way it was back then, back then it was a beautiful jungle and I'm pretty sure now it's just all just overgrown weeds. Like it changes people's mentality. Where the river meets, that's that's like the most rich, diverse life that you're ever gonna find. And we should encourage that and nourish it instead of trying to diminish it and make this a wasteland.